Okay, now we're going to go ahead and go over uh, our dimensional analysis practice uh, number one sheet. I'm going to do problem number one. So let's go ahead and start that off. Uh, read the question, how many miles will a person run during a 10 kilometer race? Well, we have three significant figures, so our answer needs to be in three significant figures. So we're going to start off with uh, the number that we have, which we have 10.0, and that's going to be kilometers. And then the next thing we're doing is we're going to multiply and align. And so we're going to put our line uh, right here. Okay, now we're going to put a number on top and a number on bottom. Well, we need to know the conversion factor between kilometers and miles. Do you know it off the top of your head? Well, I don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the packet. So I'm going to click on up here. Here's our page on page four here. <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me, tells us the relationship. So when we look at here's kilometers, there's miles. I could use that one. And matter of fact, that's the one that I'm going to use. So the way that this is read is that every one over here has one in front of it. And then that's the English value or the metric value with the number. So one kilometer equals 0 0.6214 miles. Now one kilometer over the, uh, this or this over that. Remember, that's unlimited number of significant figures. So 0.6214. So we'll go back to the problem. And we said, since I have kilometers here, we're going to put that on bottom. And I'm going to put the tab over. So that's going to be one kilometer. And up on the top, we remember, we're going to change this to, and I'm going to make sure that I have this uh, underlined, to... 0 0.6124. Uh, Let me double check that. 6.6214. Uh, 0.6214. And that's going to be miles. Okay. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to put our equal sign in here. Excuse me, our equal sign. And we're going to cross off <coughs> whatever we can. Well, I have kilometers on top here and I have kilometers on bottom right there. So I can get rid of those. Uh, how do I do that? I just basically, we're just going to cross them off. So we're going to go ahead up here and we're going to do a strike through. And we're going to do a strike through right there on that one. And now when we look at this, we see that uh, our only unit that we have left is miles. Read the question, how many miles will a person, miles is gonna be in our answer. So we're gonna go ahead and answer that question. So what are we gonna do? We are going to go ahead and do our math. So 10 times 0.6214 divided by one. Remember, I don't have to divide by one because that doesn't change the value. So we're gonna take our 10 and we're gonna multiply that by 0.6214, and our answer is going to be 6.214, and that's going to be miles. Now, does that make sense? I look here, and I see that, and if I multiply by 10, I'm just moving the decimal over one place, so it does make sense. But I do need to have it in three significant figures, so we're going to look at this. And this says we're going to, uh, the forces, we're going to drop it off. So this is going to equal 6.21 uh, miles. So that's going to equal. And then we're just going to go ahead and highlight our answer. And that would be your correct answer. So there you go. Answer to question number one, how to figure it out. You should be able to do the rest with most of these. Uh, some of them are going to be a little bit tricky especially one with scientific notation. So you can either take it out of scientific notation. I would just go ahead and leave it in there, type it in. You won't have, you shouldn't have too much of a problem. Good luck with the rest of the uh, practice.